Hi, this is James from OptimizePress.com and in this video, which is video 4 of the membership video series, I'm going to be showing you how to add content to your membership pages within Optimize Press. So the process of adding content to your membership pages is pretty much the same as adding content to any other pages within Optimize Press and WordPress. So we're going to be focusing on using the visual editor. And you can see here I've just added some simple text. So you would normally you would add any content that you wanted, any text content into your page just like this. As you can see, if I switch over to one of the content pages, our system automatically adds the header for your page. But if you want to divide up your content and add additional headers throughout the page, what you can do is actually use our shortcode system. And we have a membership headline shortcode. So I just click on the shortcodes icon, and I would scroll down to the membership headline. And you can see here we've actually got a small version or a normal version. So what I'll probably do is use the small version because you actually um, already have the headline in the bigger version on the page. So you can see here I've just added a small headline. I might add some more sample content here. And then what I might want to do is add a block for downloads. So what I would do is go back into the shortcodes and I'm going to scroll down to the downloads block and click the icon there, click to add to page and what you're going to see is this box appear or something similar to this and you can see you can change the box title by editing this here and the way to add downloads here Note again that these aren't secured, so you would need to secure them with your own membership script such as Wishlist or Digital Access Pass, um, which we cover in tutorials further down this series. Um, but what we want to do is just add some download links. So I'm going to scroll down in the shortcode system again. And you can see here we've got different download styles. So we've got PDF download, we've got a zip file, we've got an MP3, an audio, QuickTime movie, video, text, word, or mind map. So I'm just going to add a QuickTime movie. So I'm going to click the icon here, click Add to Page. And the way to customize this is this link here is where you would add your download link. This here, if you want your download link to open in a new window, you would change this self to blank. And then you would add the download text here. And then you would obviously add a new line and then you can go in again and maybe we'll have a PDF download. So if I just add that in there. Now one important thing to point out here, when you're adding your download link, if it appears uh, hyperlinked just like this in your page, then this is going to break the shortcode because you can't, you, you need to have the link which is the URL of your file but you don't want it to be hyperlinked. So if you see it linked like this, just click this button here to break the link but obviously ensure that the full URL of your file is in this box here. If you don't do that then what will happen is you'll probably find that the download link doesn't work when you view it on the page. So if I update my page now and refresh the page you can see my video here, we've got some sample content, we've got uh, a headline which you would break up your sample content with, and then we've got the downloads box here. So you can see how easy that was to add, and obviously if you want to customize this anymore you can add the description of your item here, and you can, do it, you can add as many items as you want to the page. As I say, you do need to use your own script um, for actually protecting your content, something like Wishlist or Digital Access Pass, which we'll cover later. But that's the way to actually add content to your pages. The other thing to mention here is actually the video. You saw that I had a video on the page. So if I just go to Membership Options, scroll down to Video, and these video options work the same way as the normal Optimized Press options. So you can add in a URL for your video or a YouTube URL there. You can add in an embed code if you want to use a different video host or if you're using Easy Video Player, add your code in here. You can set the video height and width. By default, the video height and width, if you're using our player, is 710 by 400 pixels. And obviously you can auto play and you can control these. Remember that these controls only apply if you're using our own player. If you're using an embedded player, they don't apply. And you can obviously also en enable comments here if you want to use them.